Hi guys, welcome to my new Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to modeling this with Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So, first step, go to here and select this model capsule and go to enable shading lines. Okay. Then, let's click this icon for make editable and select vertex go to here select range selection then go to previews windows and go to front select this vertex go to select scale and scale this like this Okay, again click this icon and select this vertex, again scale tool and scale like this. Okay, click move tool and click this tool. Let's back to perspective. Okay. Then let's click this edge icon and select these lines move to up okay and select these lines move to up again and this and this and this Okay, not bad. Then again click this icon and go to here, select subdivision surface and select this model, move to inside this subdivision surface. Okay, not bad. So let's click this icon, okay, for close subdivision, select this model capsule and go to click this icon select this go to select and loop selection let's select this selection and hold shift select this okay and click move to hold control move to up okay nice then click this icon and right mouse select loop path cut and let's make one path here line and and here okay and here here for smooth okay let's click this icon for enable line okay let's one here and here okay nice click this tool and move tool nice then again click this icon for close subdivision select this capsule again this icon and select this go to select loop selection and select this loop click move tool and right mouse extrude and extrude like this okay let's enable subdivision okay not bad click this icon and right mouse select loop path cut let's cut here and here here and here let's enable okay nice click move tool and click this model icon okay nice not bad so in this time let's go to again objects and select this cylinder change scale move to up 
Okay, like this. Okay, not bad. Let's change radius. Okay. And let's go to click caps and enable fillet. Change radius like this. Okay. Okay, not bad. Let's hide lines. Good. Again, enable shading lines and select this cylinder, hold control and move to up for duplicate, click object, change radius and height, move to down inside this cylinder, okay, select again this, go to caps, change radius 2 okay let's move to up a little bit nice again select the cylinder hold control move to up click object change size okay Let's click caps, change segments 3 or 4 and change radius like this. Okay, so in this time go to again objects and select cube, move to up, change scale. like this chain size z okay nice not bad So, in this time, click this icon for change vertex and click this icon, right mouse, loop path cut and let's add one line here and here, here and here, okay. Let's click this icon and select Wrenchel Selection. Okay, select this vertex, move to right and down. And select this vertex, move to left and down. Okay, and select this for vertex, move to up. And select this, move to up again or down. Okay, select this, move to down. And select this, move to up. Okay. Let's select this vertex. And this. Okay. Move to right and select this two and this two. Move to right again. Okay, nice. So let's select this four vertex. Move to left and down. Okay, not bad. And click move tool, right mouse, loop path cut again, make one path.
path here one here and here and here for smooth object and click this icon and move tool then go to again here select subdivision surface select this cube move to inside this subdivision surface one okay nice our object is smooth nice so we can select this cube again vertex and click wrench tool selection select this vertex move to left and down click rotation chain rotation like this okay and scale change scale okay not bad okay nice so thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck